Why your check engine light on? Why your tire light on? Shut the f up. Yo, Steph, what you doing now? What you doing now, Steph? Bro, I gotta get used to this new setup on a power level that it's at right now, like. YKTV, YKTV, back at in track tire. You feel me? You know what it is. Here to pick up that thing thing. What up, family? How you? All right, all right. Here to pick up that beautiful thing thing that's back there on the dyno. You know what I'm saying? Picking up that that kitty, that turbo kitty. And track tire always got dope. Always got dope cars here. Always the goods. Anyway, we're gonna pick this thing up, take it home. So let's jump into the video. Let's go. Yo, Steph, what are you doing now? What are you doing now, Steph? Well, right now we pull in a spark plug because the tuner wants to see to make sure. Usually it's in the most difficult one. Cylinder seven or eight or whatever. Seven is a normal failure for these cars. So you check in where you get the most problematic part, right? So we pull in that spark plug from cylinder seven and we're gonna send pictures to the tuner because he wants to make sure that it's operating correctly. Um, you can learn a lot from looking at a spark plug, whether the car's running lean, whether it's running rich, whether you're getting detonation. You can see all of that from a spark plug. So therefore we're pulling that so our tuner has that information and not just looking at it on a log, but actually looking at the mechanical evidence of what's going on. So we're doing that now and uh i'll be right back with y'all in a second hey 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 real men could wear pink ish that's right the mood we got a few of these left guys make sure you get it this was a very early one number three of 100 super dope so you can get it in a pink ish or you can get it in a off white either one is really dope this what number is this one this one is number five of 100 i'm holding these for some very vip important client so you want something more simple you got to go with the standard stuff like this is the standard hoodie with the mod fame white letter red box and that's the standard t-shirt white letter red box we got them also in gray we got them in all different colors so check out the website mod right now don't miss out on what we have in store for you guys man this stuff is fly and uh right now right now only Free shipping on any order over $99. Go check it out, modifame.com. All right, guys, so the tuner just saw the pictures that you guys just saw, and he said, we got some room to turn up, which is what we thought, but it's just making sure. We'd rather be safe than sorry. So am I gonna do that now, today? No, because, bro, I gotta get used to this new setup on a power level that it's at right now, like, Yes, is it capable of 12, 1300 plus? Yes, I know it is. I know it's capable of that. However, right now, man, I just wanna take the car and enjoy it. I have it set up right now. We're gonna turn it back down, put it back on 93, and then keep it at that like 960 wheel horsepower. And you know, if I have, once I get used to that, then I'll add race gas. Um, we'll turn it up to 18 pounds, which made 1062. And then after I get used to that, then we'll turn it up to 20 pounds. At least we already know all of this works. 20 pounds, no problem at the current settings, right? And that's gonna make, uh, that made 1120. And then what we'll start doing is after I get comfortable with that, then we'll start increasing timing, increasing boost, and heading toward that 1300 mark that I know this car is capable of. But the rest of the tuning, to be honest with you guys, I'm gonna do on the street. And I'm gonna do it on the street because it don't make sense to add all of this power and the car don't hook and it don't work. But now I'm gonna take the car from here and I'm gonna bring you guys with me for the next about six to seven minutes. 
all you're gonna see is this car on the road driving from your point of view the sights the sounds the blow-offs the spinning of the tires I'm gonna show it all to you right now let's jump into it come on
question I get all the time. Why your check engine light on? Why your tire light on? Oh, God. Listen, guys, race car. Anyway, so in my 18-inch drag radials, I didn't have tire pressure sensors. But right now, we are adding tire pressure sensors right now. You can actually see my wheel over there, leaned over. That's my wheel. Love that concave and a big bulky tire. But anyway, changing that now. So we're adding tire pressure sensors. So that light isn't going to be on. But I'm going to explain this for the last and final time. Jesus. Okay. My car runs a whole chilling system for the car. Including in that chilling system is my ice box. This right here is my ice box, right? And my ice tank holds about three gallons of additional coolant. Yes, all the stock parts are in here, including my trunk mat, headers, all that kind of stuff. All my stock parts are in here. I gotta take them out, put them in my house. But anyway, my ice tank is in there, right? What that does is it runs to the front of the car. Whereas under the hood, I have my turbo intake manifold there are two hoses going into that intake manifold one pushes water in the other one takes that hot water out and it delivers it back into the the system right so this is the cooling pipes underneath here down here in hellcats there's another pump right so on that ice box, there's a pump because it has to come from all the way from the back of the car to right here where it pushes into the intake manifold, right? And then now that goes back down to my factory Hellcat intercooler pump, right? That factory intercooler pump then goes to my inner chiller. I have an inner chiller system like what the Demon has where it uses the AC. Now, I have the good one, the one from Australia called the FI Inner Chillers, right? And that's hidden behind my bumper. When you guys saw a bunch of videos before with the bumper off of the car, you saw what looked like some sort of a tank in the front bumper. That's what that is. That's my inner chiller that is going to freeze that water cold, cold, then send it back into the turbo manifold, then send it into the engine. Nice, cold, dense air. It's going to be the equivalent of almost adding like a 30 shot of nitrous. Like that's how cold and dense the air is going to be as it goes into the engine. Now, because I still run a factory intercooler pump, there is sensors on that system. Because I'm using a whole factory sensors, there's a sensors on that system. And the sensors are looking to see a certain level of flow that that factory pump would produce. My system produces way more pressure than that. Way more fluid is running through that. So it sends off an error, which then causes a check engine light. So my check engine light is not mechanical, guys. It's solely, it's solely related to the fact that I'm running additional coolant through the system. So stop talking about the damn check engine light trust me if it was mechanical we would fix it the only way that we found potentially to work around this is to limit the flow right we limit the flow but why would we want to do that we don't want to limit the flow we need all of the flow so that we can have as much water volume going through this before it goes into the engine okay so there you go that was a long way of saying shut the fuck up <laughs> And just like that, boys and girls, I am home, man. The fact that I'm holding this camera steady, I don't know how, because the level of excitement that it is driving this car, it's like you're, it's like you shaking, like the adrenaline, the way it picks up power, the way it picks up speed. But the crazy part is, guys, I need you guys to understand something. That was on gate pressure. Meaning, that was only 12 pounds of boost. 12 pounds of boost in this car, it made 860 wheel horsepower. So that's what that was, 860. It was only on one of the passes that I think I might have been a little bit more. I turned it up, which I'll talk about in a future video, how I'm going to be able to turn this car up by the touch of a switch or a button. 
I'll talk about that in a future video. But I hope you liked it, man. Make sure you visit modtofame.com. You just saw that dope merch drop that we just did. And remember, $99 or more gets you free shipping, baby. Plus, you're going to win that Stimmy Hemi when you go to enter. So just a lot going on here at Mod Fame, man. A lot of excitement, a lot happening. But I appreciate you guys. Man, I got to get this thing cleaned up. But in the next video, we'll take it out. Maybe we'll roll with some friends. I hope you enjoyed that just car driving, no talking, no nothing. Those few minutes are just pushing it. Anyway, guys, man, so much fun rocking out with y'all. It's your boy Steffi here from Mod to Fame. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos going forward. But until the next one, about to walk up in the house so I can start editing. Well, sending it to the editors. We out, we out.